as of recent, a number of students are stranded here at the San Yankee Student Center and even from other buildings. Moreover, the University of Santo Tomas administrative offices are keeping track on the nation's safety and welfare. The heavy downpour of rain started at around 2.30 in the afternoon and floods escalated quickly. At around 3 p.m., the office of the Secretary General suspended the classes. However, the flooding around the university made it difficult for a number of the nations to go home. As a result, many students remained in their buildings to let the flood subside. The administrative offices of UST, together with the local student councils, have started to prepare the necessary measures to keep the nations safe, despite being stranded within the university premises. I'm making the orders already. They take lang sila lang time because in AB alone, there's 290 students stranded, including faculty members. And then in engineering, there's around 590. So, yeah. Food as well as sleeping arrangements were made for the students. They were still encouraged to go home. Nevertheless, a number still say. Yun, kasi parang makikita mo sa nila, nagtutulungan talaga sila. Yung pag may nakikita sila, tulad na lang kanina, nung sa mga, may mga students na nakikita na sa baba, talagang tinutulungan nila ang ano, tinutulungan nila yung kunin yung mga gamit. Uh, kanina tala nung nila kasi kung ilan yung nandito nagpakawal sila. Tapos par umabot kami ng around 70. Tapos ayun, yung kapatid na naman daw sila sa akin. So, just, Stranded incidents are not new in UST. Because of the flooding tendencies of the university, the administrative offices are equipped with the proper measures and plans to keep the students safe, especially in emergencies like this. I think that we call that the disaster preparedness committee. So, I think, kagaya ngayon nangyari sa atin ngayon, no? So, merong na-stranded, so by procedure, kung merong naiwan sa mga building, we gather them here in Tanyanki, and of course, we feed them and make sure that uh, they are safe here. No? So, those who can go home should go home, and then those who cannot go home, then they can stay here until the morning. 